Hello everybody, what's going on today? It's your boy and today I'm going to be showing you how to do two things in LMS. I'm going to be showing you how to A. Use sample tracks using an uh, audio file processor and also doing note slides. So let's get to it. First of all, I'm going to show you what a note slide sounds like. So I'm going to use, I'll show you this part first. So the part that was using the note slide here was this part. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick here. Uh, I'll use triple oscillator. Uh, I'm going to edit it here just a little quick. We're going to go in piano roll. And so we're going to start on A5. Like that, you know. Pretty average. <laughs> Sounds like uh, you turned your TV on and through your speakers is just coming this noise. But say we wanted to shift it up to a C, but we didn't want to make a whole nother note. What you're going to do, you're going to grab this detune mode or you can press shift T to grab it and you just place it on your note somewhere there you go now what I like to do when I use this I like to keep this open I also like to have this open so I can see both of them at the same time because say you put that there if you do 12 uh, I think this is cents not semitones um, but if you do 12 up, that shifts you up 12 whole steps. But if you only do it, if you do it one, it'll shift you up one step. So we'll do it up until it reaches the C note. Obviously, you see there. And But I only want it to do that the last second. So I'm going to do it like that and take that to the middle. And I'll keep this here, and I'll bring it back down. So it sounds like this. So if you wanted to get crazy or something, you know, there's all this different stuff. You could do crazy stuff like that. Um, but it's really easy. I just didn't know ever how to do it. I eventually found it out by myself. But I couldn't find any good tutorials, so that's why I'm putting this out there. So... So it sounds pretty wild, but usually you wouldn't do that in a song. But if you did, that's what it would look like. But otherwise, just do the first step that I showed you, and uh, it'll all turn out pretty, uh, pretty good. And... Um, So yeah, you can just tune your stuff to your notes, and there's this line showing you where your note is at the current time. Really easy stuff. I'll erase that, and now I will show you how to do a, uh, a sample using audio file processor. So LMS comes with this sample track, but it's not really very useful. Um, I mean, you can put your samples in it and stuff, but you can't really edit them in any way. Uh, you can just add effects. You can't cut them and slice them and change the envelope or anything. You can only just add them in there. So I would rather use audio file processor and I'll show you this song first. So right now on this I have I have used three sample. Well technically all of these are samples, but for greater intents and purposes where he's just going to refer to these as samples. So first of all, we have what I call donkey bass dot wave. 
And so I got that from this website called Looperman. So all of this is free samples and anything you need is right here. And so if you're not good at making melodies, get it here. If you're not good at making drums, get it here. You can get a vocal sample in the acapellas. You can chop it up. You can get someone rapping acapella and you can put that in your song. Really, it's just great for everything. You can search for loops by member, keyword, all this different stuff. It's a really great website. Shout out to them because that has really helped me do stuff. And so on this, I got this by a guy named Donkey or Donk or Dank. I don't know. But he made this uh, bass sample, bass line. So that's 20 seconds long. Uh, is 95 beats per minute and also I got this acapella called uh, <laughs> I don't remember what it was called I renamed it ladder snakes because it says something about ladders and also something about snakes but uh, so that's one of the measures that I did that in uh, this is the main one so to do that and to get your files into Audio File Processor, you're just going to go Audio File Processor over here in the Instrument Plugins, put her in, click on the file right there, and then wherever you want to go right now, this is my LMMS samples folder. Um, so I'll use uh, this one. I don't know what this one is. And so instantly you can edit it in any way that you want to in autofill processor. You can uh, do that, make it only half as long. You could do it so it's only this very first part if you wanted to. You can change the envelope so it fades in. If you wanted to, you could do that. <laughs> Those are really sound fantastic. You could add a filter onto it too. So, really, anything you want to do in Audio File Processor, you can do, unlike using the sample track. So, anyway, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching. If there's any video that you would like to request to see, uh, I can put it up. If it's um, Halo or uh, anything like that, I can also do that. I just, I don't know, I need some inspiration. I haven't had a lot of inspiration lately, so that'd be good. But uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like uh, if you liked it. If you did not leave a like, leave a comment so I know what I can say. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching.